Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to align equations in LaTeX by using 5 different environments. Before starting, let's first call the package AMS path so that we can have lots of options uh, for displaying equations. We go to preamble and type uh, use package. Then inside curly brackets we write down our package name AMS math. AMS stands for American Mathematical Society. Now we are ready to use equation environment. To use an environment, we need to use command begin. And inside the curly brackets, we are writing down the environment name, equation. Then we close the environment by using end command. Inside the environment, we are writing our Uh, equation sorry for that y is equal to x square and at right you see that uh, it's numbered equation and we can use this number by using uh, label command we just need to type uh, something curly brackets indicate that uh, it's the label of this equation then inside the text we will give a cross reference by using ref command and we are gonna write the label name eq and x2 and it will appear on the right equation one if you want to put one between uh, brackets you can either do in this way uh, take the ref between two brackets or we can use another command uh, eq ref which, com which comes with uh, AMS math package and again we are writing the label name for our equation as you see they do the uh, same thing and the good thing about label is if you add another equation above uh, for example y is equal to x cube the first equation will be numbered 1 and uh, our equation x squared will be number 2 and in the text our references will be updated if you don't want to use any number for our, your uh, equation you can use uh, aesthetics. You just put an aesthetics at the end of equation so that uh, your equation will not be numbered. For example, z is equal to x squared. So this is how we use equation environment. Another environment is a uh, split environment, but uh, we cannot use this environment alone. We first need to uh, be in the equation environment, then uh, we can use the split environment. That's why I first initialized a begin equation and then begin split. It basically uh, splits equations. Uh, for example, y is equal to x squared. And then I can use a double backslash which indicates that I will pass the new line and say that x is equal to x cubed plus x square. Uh, as you see, it's right aligned, but uh, it doesn't look quite good. To align wherever you want, you need to use ampersand uh, symbol like let's put this symbol next to equality signs and then it will align over these uh, symbols for example it will align over the uh, equality signs and a thing about split environment is as you see even though we have two different rows it gives only one number for the equation because it numbers the equation, not the split. So that if you don't want to use any number, 
let's copy paste you just need to put asterisk at the end of equation and our equation will not be numbered uh, this is how split works and for the multi-line multi -line environment uh, let's open the environment then here I am gonna write a very uh, long polynomial equation It looks like our polynomial equation didn't fit to the uh, line as you see 4 is far uh, 4 is below the equation and they are not aligned with the other equation numbers uh, somewhere whenever you want you can just put a uh, double backslash and it will take the that part below uh, for example like this and the first line will be aligned to the left and the second one will be aligned to the right and now our, our equation looks uh, better and again if you don't want to use any number you just need to put uh, asterisk uh, at the end of multi line okay uh, let's look at the align environments uh, which is something I quite often use uh, for that let's use begin comment and open our environment then I will just copy from the split environment and paste here uh, to see the difference uh, let's wait in a bit and so if you look at the equation 3 and what I just wrote down in the align environment they are the same thing and they align uh, in the same way but for each row we have a different number like uh, 5 for the first row and 6 for the second row in align environment uh, it gives the numbers for each row if you don't want any specific row to be not numbered you just need to put no tag in this way uh, you will see that uh, we don't have a number for the first row anymore if you don't want any of these uh, rows to be numbered you can basically put asterisks at the end of a line but for now let's keep in this way and the good thing about a line you can uh, have more than one alignment for example let's say uh, let's add another mil by using m percent symbol and I just added uh, w squared and w cube and squared okay uh, notice that the second part is aligned to the right this is because I used uh, how I used the uh, m percent if I put here uh, two m percent instead of one they will be aligned to the left let's wait and see yeah as you see and for the first part if I put 2 m percent instead of 1 the uh, the second part will be also aligned to the right as you see so but it also affected the second part because uh, uh, now we have uh, we just need to delete one of them it totally depends on how many m percent you use in the equation uh, for the alignment and you can just try and see which one uh, works better for you but I, I can say that uh, it depends on whether you you are using an even number or odd number for the m percents okay so let's make it double m percent here and let's leave it in that way and this is how uh, airline environment work and the last one is uh, gather and let's let's open a gather environment I will just write our equations and I will use a 
double backslash. Okay, let's go down. Uh, gather environment just centers, uh, just aligns in the center. If I get x squared as well, you will see that uh, it's always centered. If you want to use centered equations, you can use uh, gather environment. And if you don't want it to be numbered, let's put aesthetics. So basically, uh, this is how we can use different environments to align equations. Uh, I hope that this video was helpful. Please do a comment if you have any question. And uh, thank you for watching.